Three three five odd has been one of the best defenses all season long. It's actually the first defense that I broke down on my YouTube channel. And it's actually also the first defensive guide that I released in Madden 22. And so uh, this defense has just consistently, in my opinion, shown up in Madden 22 in a variety of ways. And is probably, I think, I think it's fair to say that this is at least a top two or three blitzing defense. Um, just with the way that the blitz angles work out of this and the way that the concepts are um, designed. So with that being said in this video, I want to share with you one of my favorite defenses out of this today. And if you want to check out my nickel 335 odd ebook, you can get that full ebook in my Patreon. It's been updated several times throughout the course of the season. And we've literally taken a look at a ton of different ways to run this defense, whether it be a coverage style, whether it be a balanced approach, whether it be a pressure, heavy pressure defense, it really does have the ability to do everything that we want it to be able to do in Madden 22. And so um, again, if you wanna check out the ebook, you can get everything in my Patreon. Patreon gets you access to all of my Madden 22 strategy guides, also our weekly pro tips and meta updates. And it's only 10 bucks to sign up. So if you wanna sign up, there's a link in the description below. But I'm just gonna break down this blitz and um, also some coverage and some run defense out of this defense that I really, really like. So the play we're gonna be using is LB Cross 3 Show 2. This has been one of the best plays in Madden year in and year out. One of the things I wanted to quickly point out about 335 odd that you might not know is that the 335 odd was one of the better defenses in Madden 18. It was probably by far the best defense in Madden 19. It was one of the better defenses in Madden 21, and it was obviously one of the better defenses this year. So um, it's kind of stood the test of time. Over the last five years, it's definitely been at the top of the meta uh, at least four of those years. And so I would just encourage you to think about that And as we kind of look to Madden 23 and, and what we could potentially do. Then this formation has always been good, just like um, 245 odd has been good this year, just like dollar, just like dive. All these formations are really, really effective. So. Let's jump into this blitzing concept out of LB Cross 3 Show 2. And all we're going to do with this is we're going to um, spread our defensive line. We're going to spread our linebackers. And then really, really important, I like to reset my linebackers. You're going to see that it's only going to bring these two guys back inside and this guy is going to stay outside. I think that's really important. And then I like to crash my line to the right and contain. Now, my user is going to be this guy, and I'm actually going to put him on a zone, and I'm going to stand kind of right here, and I want to hold left trigger. And what you'll notice is that this, I'm just going to kind of take a step toward the center and then get into coverage. So take a step toward the center, get into coverage. Look how fast that blitz comes in off of the edge. It's one of the best blitzes in Madden 22. Now, if you want to, you can crash your line down or crash them to the tight end side. Those are both good setups. Again, you want to just kind of split between the guard and the center. And again, you'll see it just comes in really, really fast. It's either going to come in off of the looper coming through the B gap on the opposite side, or it's going to come in. Um, it can sometimes come in through the A gap, actually, um, or it's going to come in, you know, off of the other side, off of the edge. Um, the edge is more so, like I said, if you can get your guy to kind of get that guard to just kind of hesitate for just a second. It's a really, really good, it's a really, really good blitz if you can get that. So one other little quick tip about this, um, this defense is you can go ahead and you can kind of have this guy right here as well. So you don't have to be like right here. You can be kind of right in here if you want to be. Um, and again, you're just trying to get those guys to hesitate. Once you get those guys to hesitate a little bit, a lot of times this is going to come in. And the other thing that I really like about this blitz is what it does against blocked assignments. So if they block their running back or if they block their tight end, um, this is a really, really good, uh, really, really good defense for those situations. So let's say, for example, that they block, you know, their running back. OK, uh, again, we're just going to hold left trigger. We're going to kind of jab in here, if you will. And what you should see is kind of jab in, come out. And typically you'll get a disengage or the linebacker looper will come in against the blocked running back. So a lot of times you're still going to be able to get pressure if they block the running back. Now, another thing you can do with your user if you wanna be a little bit more safer is you can stand kind of right here and then come in and you'll see that that just kind of changes some of the blitz angles. Um, it's not really that much different because you're still basically holding the guard. Um, in this Madden, the guy that you want to really mess with on, on in terms of offense 
is 100% this guard and the center. So you could even come in like that. You see that if they block someone, like, like if I'm usering, if you think about it, let's say that I'm usering and I see that the running back blocks. This is something that we do out of other formations that is really effective and it's also really effective out of this one. All we have to do is tap one of the linemen. So just kind of like really make them respect us. So if we see the running back go out, let's just get out and guard him, you know? And you see right there, even when we don't do that, it still comes in. Like, and I'll show you this real quick with the running back. If the running back goes out on a route, he's kind of your guy. And, and that's why I like to shade down out of this and then re-curl flap that slot corner. And I find this to be a really, and I mean really, really good coverage. But anyways, what you can do is, so you're right in here, right? And the running back goes on a route. Just go get him. The, the blitz will come in. The blitz will freaking scream if the running back goes on a route every single time. Now, let's say, for example, that the running back blocks. Then what you can do is kind of turn this almost into two, four, five, um, double A gap, if you will. And we're going to really kind of come down and kind of force this them to you know respect our blitzer so kind of come really come down and you see that it kind of sucks in the running back because you don't have to defend the flat on that side because the running back didn't go on a route um, so that's a great little tip i think for this blitz and then lastly is a block tight end so a block tight end i think is their best chance um, but again remember where's the pressure coming from it's heavy left side this is why this is such a good blitz against bunch so what you'll see here is a lot of times the pressure will still come in sometimes it'll they'll be able to pick it up but a lot of times what will happen is kind of the, the the pressure will loop around the edge and again i forgot to spread my line i've been forgetting to do that um but anyways whoops whoops whoops, whoops. let me reset these guys there we go okay so you're here they block a tight end so then what's going to happen you're going to kind of run down and out to the back and a lot of times that left side will disengage it's not doing it right here but a lot of times that left side will disengage and again you're going to force them to have to be in a position um, where they're going to max protect and you know you can still kind of again the whole thing this defense hinges upon is your ability to hold this guard for just a second see that right there just a second to get him around that's it. You hold the guard, you win. If you hold the guard in this defense, you will literally win every single time. So you got to focus on kind of holding this guard. It's really, really important for this. So hold, get him out, and they see that there's a disengage, and now they have to max protect. So if they max protect, really important here, this is why I think this defense is so good. If they max protect, same basic principle. The running back doesn't go on a route, right? So I'm going to really dig down and try to get at them a little bit. So really come down like so. And a lot of times you'll get this little disengage from the nose guard. So this is kind of what makes us the best blitzing defense in Madden is you can get pressure against any protection scheme. And it's really good pressure, by the way. So you're just coming down. See that right there? And see how we're really getting some good rush angles, even though they're blocking seven people, um, you're still able to do that. So again, let me show you one more time. So if the running back blocks, and remember, you're going to kind of be like right in here, right? If the running back blocks, just get down and touch the center and then get out. And you see you get these really fast rush lanes, and they're really effective. You see how fast that's coming in? Now, I wanted to spend just a quick second here on run defense. So if the if they run the ball, all you're going to do is you're standing right here, right? All you're going to do is you're going to run right down um, right down, you know, at the at the at the ball carrier. So literally just run straight, and a lot of times what happens base is harder, but a lot of times what happens is this looping linebacker will get in to stop the run a lot of times that will happen for you now if it doesn't another little trick you can do is you can kind of swoop like that and the nose tackle will get an instant shed so you just kind of like i mean again this this right here is really hard to run on but if they really want to run then what you can do and i'll show you real quick what you can do is you're standing here and you see, oh, they ran. I'm just going to kind of loop back around and come back around and cut it. I'll show you again. That wasn't a great example. And like I said, base, I think, is really good. Um, if, they're in a, if they're in a situation where they're running the ball a lot, instead of being here, go ahead and come back here. And what will happen is this 
is really easy to shoot the run. So you can kind of play with where you stand, but it's either gonna be here, kind of in this little box right in this little area, you know? And if you, again, if you wanna shoot base, that that's really, you know, again, you gotta dive a little sooner, but that's really a good shoot for base. If they run inside zone, which I don't have that in the bunch right here. So I'm gonna go to this one. This is an inside zone. And this has the tight end coming. What you can do here is if you notice a lot of times, see how I kind of get sucked in. So what you can do is you can quickly back away and kind of get around it. And I'll show that real, try to show that real. It's a real, it's a really subtle thing that you can do out of this to, that really helps against the run. Let me get back over to the right formation. And then again, you can stand here and shoot the run. So if you, if you, if, if they're in a situation where they're running a lot, I would back up to here because this becomes a lot easier to stop. Um, if you're, if you're backed off and I'll show one more time, you basically just want to split the difference between the guard and the tackle and the guard should kind of double team if you will here the tackle is actually guarding this or um, blocking this really well it might be a formational issue but again if you're really struggling against the run you can also just click you could also if you really if you really want to stop the run you could use the backside linebacker um, he's pretty good for stopping the run but again i'm here and what i can do is just kind of come, come around just kind of come around and help scrape it and a lot of times the a gap guy will literally shoot the run for you that's why of the other reasons why i really like this defense um against you know any kind of spread set let me show you a wide trips this is kind of the best variation of a inside zone i think you'll find so again i just want to show like if i'm back here and i'm see i'm splitting the difference here a lot of times you can shoot or you can easily click on now right there i could have easily clicked onto him and he would have come in free um it's just kind of one of those things this year Honestly, it's one of those things this year where this tackle can be kind of problematic. But if you can get the right, kind of right in here, see how I can kind of shoot through. So that's the beauty of this run D. It's real simple. Um, and the blitz is really simple, honestly. It's really not a lot of setup. Um, you don't have to spread the linebackers. It just does, it does help a little. But if you, if you don't have time, you don't have to do that. But just click onto this guy and shoot it. I mean, literally, if the tackle blocks you, just click onto the other guy because they it's a numbers advantage that you have um, because you're overloading the side. You know, if you're if you're in here, a lot of times you can just shoot it right here and then again just click on. You're just I'm just hitting circle and clicking onto that guy and dive tackling him from behind. Something really subtle, but really, really good. And then last thing I want to show you, just a little preview of some other things that we talk about, but this is a way that you can stop the you know ever popular trips tight end run. Um, this is not the base, but this is the inside zone. Uh, one of the things I also want you to see, and uh, never mind, we'll cover that in a different video. But again, you're going to be kind of right in here. If you're here, a lot of times, again, notice he's shoot, notice how that looping linebacker is really shooting, and that's why I suggest to people literally. If you want to stop the run, it can be as simple as you want it to be. Just stand here and literally run down. And what will happen is the center and guard will really have to guard, like block you. Um, so like right here, really run down and then look at that. See that looper come in? That's an easy way to stop these, you know, these heavy run tacks that literally requires hardly anything from your user. Literally, they snap the ball, you run down. That's all, I mean, and if you want to, I mean, you could even stand here and a lot of times, a lot of times if you stand like right in here and you just kind of like hesitate for just a second hesitate then come but again trip side ends a little different but as you can see you can you can hang with most of the runs with this um it just comes down to i personally think like if you're here just literally run straight down you see that wall stops and then that looper comes in and picks that up so this is my probably my favorite defense i mean there's a couple little things i don't like about it i just don't like that you can't call every match coverage um you can kind of only call two of them um or three of them and so i just that's the biggest reason but i love this defense this defense has been good for years it's a really fun defense to run it's got a great blitzing concept in it and it's got a ton of things you can do with the coverage so i want to thank you for watching the video and if you want to get my full 
Nickel 335 Odd ebook. You can click the link in the description to go sign up for our Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you get all of our strategy guides, all the updates to those guides, and then all of our weekly pro tips and updates that we've been releasing um, throughout the year. And you'll have that as long as your membership is active. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to check that stuff out, there's a link in the description below that you can click on and go check out the Patreon.